Hello African Gold Growers, how are you today? Today we bring you the story of an amazing lady in Uganda who became millionaire with agriculture just in one acre. Stay at the end because you will learn powerful lessons from our African entrepreneur of today, Dr. Emma Naliima. If this is the first time you visit us, welcome to African Gold Growers Academy. In this channel, we share with you knowledge to help you to start successfully strategic business in Africa with low risk, with low investment. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a like and write a comment. Now let's start with our video. Dr. Emma Naliima is a Ugandan farmer and social entrepreneur credited for leading an agricultural revolution in her country. She owns a model farm where she combines traditional and modern farming techniques to create an innovative approach to regenerative agriculture and agroecology. Her work has been recognized by various organizations nationally and internationally and has inspired other farmers in Uganda and beyond. So my name is Emma Narima. I'm a vet by profession. I'm a farmer. I'm a mother and wife and I'm an educator. I sat down for a year when I gave birth to premature twins and I needed to look after them. And as I was trying to put food on my table, I became successful. I kind of became an icon in farming and people came to me for advice. Mm. Very nice, you don't need sugar actually. <laughs> so I found out that there's a need that I needed to work on. That's why we put a school. After two years, I left my workplace and asked my dad for a piece of land. I think I was 26 years old and then every person thought I was mad. My mom literally prayed for me. Yeah, Dr. Naliima's model farm is based on regenerative agriculture and agroecology approaches using only one acre of land. So in a quarter an acre, I mean with the pigs, I will earn about 60,000 US dollars. And then with the chickens, I earn between 1,200 to 2,000 US dollars a year. With the cattle, I earn about 1,000 to 1,500. Matoke every month, I get about 300 US dollars. The food situation in Uganda and Africa is a major challenge due to several factors, including lack of access to basic resources, poverty, disease, and political instability. In Uganda, the majority of the population lives in rural areas and depends on agriculture for their source of income and food. However, traditional agricultural models are often not enough to guarantee people's food security. Dr. Emma Naliima has led an agricultural revolution in Uganda through innovative regenerative agriculture and agroecology techniques on her model farm. So that's the beauty about using technology, that you look at your, your, your problem, if my problem is land, how best can I utilize this piece of land? And for us, uh, we believe it's not how much land you have, but how you utilize whatever piece of land you have. If farming is the backbone of Africa, of, of Uganda, and then people start farming at a, ten, at a late age, then there's something wrong. So that's when I decided to start up a school. It's a primary school based on agriculture, and the things you learn best are things you learn when you're young. So MST school is uh, a unique school. We get the theory out of class and make it practical. So learners go to class for content. From class, they go to the laboratory for experiments. And from the laboratory, they go to the farm to implement what they're studying. And from the farm, they go to the bank if they've already sold their produce. So it teaches them to be responsible, it teaches them to care, it teaches them all these other life skills that academic salon, reading books is not going to tell them. We are packaging our learners to meet the world so that when they get out of the school, they can fend for themselves. Dr. Naliima has been recognized for her work transforming agriculture in Uganda and promoting sustainability, food security and the empowerment of local farmers. Congratulations to Dr. Emma Nayulima and Mr. Babadiyum, the 2019 Africa Food Prize winners.
At the model farm, a regenerative agriculture techniques are used, which focus on improving soil health and taking advantage of natural systems rather than relying on chemicals and other costly inputs. In addition, she focuses on agroecology, which focuses on creating ecologically sustainable, socially responsible, and economically viable agricultural systems. Dr. Naliima's model farm also focuses on the education and training of local farmers in order to promote greater sustainability and equity in food production. By promoting cooperation and collaboration, it seeks to support the local economy and improve the living conditions of farming communities in Uganda. I divided my farm into four quarters. The first quarter, I keep pigs and I play with the pig dung, with the 30 sows I have, to produce food for chickens and fish. This is what I do. In the morning when I pick the pig dung from the piggery house, I leave it out in the open for six to eight hours. And in so doing, flies come along and they lay eggs on it. I then cover it for four to five days. And when I open it, I get nice juicy maggot. These, I feed my chickens. And then, after I've picked the maggots out of the pig dung, I still introduce earthworms. And when I do, the earthworms multiply. As they are multiplying, they eat on the pig dung and they produce soil. This soil I use to grow vegetables. And sometimes I sell to the people in the city as for their potted plant. And as the, the earthworms multiply, they excrete. When they excrete, I use their excreta as a pesticide and a fertilizer for my garden. Pig dung is gold to me because I save 80% of my cost of production by feeding the chickens and the fish, which I wouldn't have done if I was using commercial feed. The second quarter, I grow, I keep cattle. While almost everyone in Uganda uses firewood and charcoal to cook, I use dung for the cows. I introduce it in the anaerobic digester. This is an airtight tank that uses microorganisms to degrade the cow dung and in the process it produces biogas that I use to cook. The slurry that comes out of the biogas, I use this as manure for my farm. In this third quarter, I grow matoke or plantain. This is my staple food. If I'm not mistaken, I'm the best matoke farmer in my country. Because in one in a quarter an acre, I only I get 30 bunches from this and on average I sell each bunch at $10. The fourth quarter, I keep fish. In a space of two meters by four meters by one meter depth, I can keep 500 catfish. I also do aquaponics. This is where water that comes from the fish goes through the plants, and as it goes through the plants, the plants filter it because they take the ammonia, the nitrates that were produced with the uh, fish dung. In a space of eight meters, by 15 meters, I grow tomatoes and I can have 4,800 kilos in six months, which amounts to about 2,700 US dollars. I also do hy hydroponic. This is soilless farming, where cereals, cereals like barley are used. They're sprouted and using germination, conditions of germination, that is air, water, and warmth. And when I do that, in six days, I produce food for my animal. In a space of 20 feet, by six feet, that's just about a container, I can grow fodder for 400, four kilograms of fodder for either 100 pigs or 2025 cows or 1,500 chicken. We consider Dr. Emma Naliyima as a great African gold grower because she found a need in her region and gradually adapted solutions. She is bringing, as we always say here, African solutions for African problems. She has literally become a millionaire in a limited space of land and teaches entire generations to be two. By building a school where agriculture, finance and administration are taught in a practical way, it is strategically helping the development not only of Uganda but of the entire region, she is the example that we can start with very little and dream big to build that future we dream of, the key is to take action. Nothing is perfect nor will it ever be, but it is built along the way, the first step is the most important. The biggest lesson we can take from she is, is not the size of the land, but how you use it. In 21 century we have access to infinity quantity of knowledge, we only have to search, adapt and improve in the process, but again, the first step is the most important. 
Do not forget to like the video if you liked it, subscribe and leave in the comments up. I will take action today if you are part of this movement of leaders that transform Africa, because remember, only this is how we grow gold in Africa.